The slaughter of innocent Israelis and non-Jews on October 7 was an unprecedented tragedy that happened in large part due to a huge lapse in national defense and security. Hence, in his speech to the newly promoted generals and flagship officers of the military, the commander-in-chief reminded them to always be prepared to respond to any national security and defense realities. Our Alan Francisco took his team to the palace today and he filed this report. So help me God. Congratulations. The armed forces of the Philippines must always be prepared to address national security and defense realities in the country and region. This was stated by President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. as he led the oath-taking ceremony of newly promoted generals and flag officers of the AFP in Malacanang. You must not only anticipate, but you must also be ready to adapt and respond to emerging national security and defense realities that exist in our country and in our region. While it is noteworthy that we see positive and encouraging developments in terms of our internal security situation, there remains much to be done. We must maintain our vigilance and guard against those actors, whatever nature or form they may take, who would threaten and jeopardize the peace we have striven and fought for all these many years. President Marcos also emphasized as Commander-in-Chief his directive to the AFP to ensure peace, especially in communities previously in conflict. As new leaders of the AFP, the Commander-in-Chief hopes the armed forces of the Philippines will be faster in addressing various issues and executing solutions. Our armed forces must be capable of securing and defending the archipelago from emerging threats. I urge you to further enhance joint planning and operations to ensure interoperability across all AFP units and platforms, sustain and foster greater collaboration with other government agencies and civil society groups, harnessing their respective knowledge, specializations, and technical expertise in coming up with innovative, effective, efficient solutions to the challenges that stand in the way of achieving peace and unity. At the same time, President Marcos expressed his gratitude to the members of the AFP and their families. I am grateful for their selflessness and sacrifice to support you in your career and the performance of your duty for the Philippines. The President also vowed the government's protection and care for them. Join me now and our nation as we together march forward in unison towards that future that is filled with hope and pride and unbound opportunities for all Filipinos. Alan Francisco, For The Nation.